Hey everyone, well, it's time for monthly prayer. On the first Wednesday of every month at 7 p.m., we gather together as a church and pray. We all want to come into agreement and pray for the prayer points that we put down below. Maybe you're listening on YouTube or Facebook. Those prayer points should be there. You can look at those and pray over those as soon as I finish. Let me just say a scripture here before we begin. In Psalms 18, 1 through 2, in the New Living Translation, it says, I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my Savior. My God is my rock, in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. You know, a couple things I was thinking earlier today as I was getting ready for my day, I woke up, I was thinking, the Lord is my rock and it was just it just kept coming to me he is that place of safety when i feel overwhelmed by things that are going on or a circumstance and there's a couple of things that have been on my mind and i just said you know the lord you're my rock you're my place of safety that thing was going to work out it can't harm me it can't hurt me and so tonight as we pray go to the lord and say lord i love you you're my strength you know, lay down all your burdens, lay down all the things that are coming at you and get into that place of safety, which is the Lord. We come to Jesus. We come to him. And we say, Lord, you're my safety. And when we do that and we say that I find protection, you're my shield. He fights our battles for us. And I believe it's so important to do this so we have that peace of mind. And that way, you know, as we pray over these areas here tonight, as we pray over the our, our church, over the community, and over our nation, we can look and we say, God, you know, all these things don't matter. Just you matter. And let's be led by the Spirit tonight as we pray. So let's do that now. Father, tonight, Lord, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we say, Lord, we love you, that you are our strength. You're our rock. You're our fortress, our place of safety. And so right now, we place everything at your feet that concerns us. We place everything in your hands that we're struggling with. Lord, we give over to you everything, Lord, that, uh, that is pressing in, that feels like it's squeezing us and, 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 and it's causing us to be upset we just, and, and stressful. Lord, we just lay that at your feet now. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, that you are fighting our battles. You go before us. You fight before us, Father. And Lord, I thank you that all these requests, Lord, that you're meeting them even before we ask. You said you know the petitions before we even bring them to us, to you. And so, Lord, I know that you hear us as we pray here tonight. In Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you that we're just in agreement and these things are done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So go ahead and continue to pray. Pray for as long as you can. It might be uh, just, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but hopefully you can get 30 minutes in or maybe even longer. Pray and come into agreement for our church, for our community, for our nation. Have you pray over those requests down below. We've got a lot of things there and, and things that we're, you know, still dealing with, with, with COVID and the like. But you know, also pray for, as the Spirit brings it to your mind, pray for that brother or sister in the Lord. Also, for those that don't know the Lord, that, that need to come to God, begin to pray and call those into the kingdom. They need to come in. Amen? So, go ahead and continue to pray, and we'll see you Sunday morning, the same way you're listening now, at 10 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube. God bless.